Cairo Citadel, a towering testament to Egypt's power, culture, and murder. Yes, murder, murder at the Citadel. We didn't actually see a live murder. Uh, that was actually a few hundred years ago. There was a lot of murder that went down in that place. But it's a beautiful tourist attraction now. So I'll give you a little tour of it. And I'll tell you actually what happened there. And we're back. Yeah. Uh, been away for a while. Uh, my laptop died and I couldn't do anything. So now we're back to editing again. Uh, so in this video, you're going to see the Citadel. What's at the Citadel. I'm going to explain to you what happened at the Citadel. You'll meet Ali. Um, this is the first time you'll meet Ali. So you'll meet him a little bit in this one, and then like you'll meet him a lot after this. So there'll be the next two videos after this will probably just be Ali. All right, and here's the Citadel. Um, it's basically a complex of mosques and museums. And you're gonna see the view of Cairo right here. The mosques are great. The museums, though, are eh. I don't think most of them have been updated since Nasser was president, so they're pretty old and not that great. But the mosques are beautiful, so I definitely recommend visiting the mosques. So this is actually the tomb uh, of Muhammad Ali. I'm the greatest. Not that Muhammad Ali. I'm pretty. We know you're pretty, man. We know. We know you're pretty. I'm a bad man. Yes, you are a bad man. I shook up the world. We get it. We get it. This is actually the baddest Muhammad Ali. It's Muhammad Ali Pasha. He's actually Albanian. He wasn't Egyptian, but but he's well known as the father of modern day Egypt, uh, basically from the bad things that he did. But everybody did bad things back in those days. Hello. Good. Yeah, this is the inside of the mosque, and I try not to be like too tourist in here, be respectful. At least when you go into mosques, just kind of have like social awareness and see what everybody else is doing. Don't be the person that goes in there and tries to take like a sexy butt pic for your Instagram. That's not cool. They might kick you out actually. Puppy time, get to see the dog. Most Egyptians just ignore the dogs. This one is actually pretty dirty. There's flies flying around and everything, but I couldn't resist. So, little Egyptian dog getting a cameo in my video. And this is where I met Ali. He saw me taking pictures with kid. Good. Trying to take with you. Yeah, yeah, I take picture with you. Uh, I think maybe because you're kind of like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It happens every day here. <laughs> Sorry? You know what happened here, right? Muhammad Ali killed everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically we're gonna have like a little Star Wars, Game of Thrones mashup so we can kind of understand what happened here at the Citadel. So, Muhammad Ali came to Egypt by request of the Sultan to kind of 
rein in the Mamelukes. What are the Mamelukes, you ask? The Mamelukes are basically, imagine the Jedi, small children that were bought, sometimes just taken, uh, and they were trained exclusively to be warriors and uh, fighters uh, and soldiers for the Sultan. You're making them your slave army, uh, but just not in a nice way. So, But eventually in time, they grew to be the power within the region, especially in Egypt. Uh, so the Sultan needed somebody to go and kind of regain control for him. And that's why he sent Muhammad Ali there. Place he he killed the people that were trying to control the, Egypt. The Mamelukes. Yeah, the Mamelukes. Yeah. The it, you ever watch uh, Game of Thrones? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it was like Red Wedding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as you can guess, like the Mamelukes weren't happy that Muhammad Ali was there, and they were really plotting to get rid of him whenever they could. They just had too much infighting to actually get the job done. And Muhammad Ali knew eventually he'd have to deal with them or they were going to come after him. It was either him or them. Uh, so Muhammad Ali said, hey, you just told the people that I'm going to make a barrier for you or something. Why don't you guys come on down? My son is getting his military rank. We're about to have a campaign in the Hejaz. It's basically this big military parade. They were coming to show their respects. It's also kind of like to pay tribute to everybody there. Big pat on the back for everyone there. We're some real cool military guys. Yeah, so I, I, I'm just picturing all these guys there like... Mohammed throws the best parties. Oh, this is the very best party I've ever been to. Mohammed throws the best party. Oh, this is nice. What is that? Old music? Oh, this is a great party. Mohammed throws the best party. Oh, that's nice. What is that? Sufi music? I love this party. Oh my God. The dancing girls, the horses. It's so much fun. And then all of a sudden some like eerie oud music starts playing. The door shut. Muhammad, what's up with the music? You're killing the vibe. The reigns of Castamere, and just like, just listen to that. And then all lining the roofs were Muhammad Ali soldiers, and basically opened fire, took out all the Mamelukes. It's Egypt's Red Wedding. So just, they're all dead. They couldn't escape. They got trapped in, slaughter. Slaughter, murder at the Citadel, blood running in the streets. Only one guy got away, and apparently he had his horse jump off over the wall or off the wall of the citadel and that's a long jump so i'm pretty sure the horse might not have made it or he didn't get very far but at least he got away and then immediately after this the order was sent out like to kill all the mamelukes the time has come execute order 66 so the mamelukes were being hunted down all over egypt so they were running for their lives they, they didn't kill all of them but after he was through with what happened at the citadel and hunting him down all over egypt they pretty much were not a problem for him anymore yeah and he after was, this now he is he undisputed egypt. leader of egypt after yeah, this yeah yeah he had a tremendous history but people don't realize that so far so good robert yeah and now obviously we're best friends he just kind of stood off to the side like a bodyguard while I took pictures. It seems like, like you are working out a lot. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I go to the gym every day. <laughs> No problem. You want one too? Okay. It's like cold actually. Oh, I press one. <laughs> this one, this one, okay. This one, okay. Okay. You enjoy it, huh? That's no problem. I don't have to be anywhere. If I was like in a hurry or something, I don't have time. You can tell them that you're busy, it's fine. No, but I'm fine. There we have it. That's Egypt's Red Wedding. But invite people to a party, murder them. Great way to uh, consolidate power. Murder all your rivals at a party. Makes things very festive. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video because it's going to be pretty much all about Ali. I want to be in America like the rest of my life. I want to spend in America. And we get to hear his opinions on so many things like The Rock. Let him tell you about Ellen. I didn't know he's Ellen's number one fan. Not just in Egypt, in the entire world. 
So make sure you subscribe. 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 Hopefully, we'll have a lot more stuff for you in the near future.